वेलकम टू डिफेंस करियर अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम अशोक बाबरे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ टेंथ ग्रेड महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड द चैप्टर नेम इज हिस्ट्रियाग्राफी डेवलपमेंट इन द वेस्ट एंड टॉपिक नेम इज मिचेल फुको मिचेल फुको हिज लाइफ स्पैन वॉज नाइनटीन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एटी फोर he was the french historian of the 20th century what michael pipo said what was his opinion we are going to study through this topic how he contributed to the historiography we are going to study through this topic first let us see a new concept was put forth by michael pipo in historiography and his concept was told in his book archaeology of knowledge archaeology of knowledge the book written by michael foco underline this for fill in the blanks or for identify the wrong pairs okay in his book michael foco argued that the prevailing practice of arranging historical events is in chronological order is not right means historical events which were arranged in chronological order is not right according to date and time historical events were arranged by the historians this was the practice found in general prevail means found in general this practice was found in general by the historians and according to foco it was not right means historical events which took place in which decade century or millennium it is not so important for michael foco instead of that he says he drew attention to the fact that archaeology does not strive to reach the ultimate truth but attempts to explain various transitions in the past means according to michael foco archaeology archaeology means the science of ancient things science of historical things the science which studies historical objects science which studies historical things this science does not strive means does not take efforts to reach to the ultimate truths ultimate truths means conclusive truths final truths means the duty or objective of archaeology is not to reach to the final truth conclusive truth of the past it is not the duty it is not the task it is not the objective of archaeology to reach to the ultimate truth in the past but archaeology attempts to explain various transitions in the past means archaeology attempts means archaeology tries it takes efforts to explain various transitions means changes from one situation to another situation how the changes took place in the past archaeology trying tries to explain them for example what changes took place how man got progress how he got progress from one situation to present situation or another situation archaeology tries to explain it as we study in history ancient man earliest man he was a wanderer he hunted wild animals for food he collected he gathered forest produces he lived in caves then after gradually he began to tame the wild animals he began to catch them he began to rear them then gradually he became the herder then after he observed how plants grow how the trees give fruits in a particular season through this observation how agriculture is practiced we studied it in the previous standards and then this situation changed then man began to practice agriculture then man began to keep herds rear animals and present day man is 
a modern man this is the transition of human of human history and archaeology strives for that archaeology attempts to explain these changes not only in the history of man he tries archaeology tries to explain various changes in various field in the past okay he also feel that explaining this transition in history is more important according to Foucault explaining the changes from one situation to another situation is more important because it explains various aspects of human life various aspects of human life are explained by the archaeology through that through that explanation we come to know about human life we come to know about various subjects we come to know about various faculties of knowledge so it is important for michael foucault then he subjected various subjects he subjected so far the so far unacknowledged areas by historians such as psychological disorder science of medicine prison administration etc means michael foucault subjected the so far and other acknowledged areas by historians means before michael foucault historians does not touch some subjects like psychological disorder means they did not study the psychology of a person who, who is in the state of psychological disorder means he does not historians does not study or did not study the subject psychological disorder means such a subjects were untouched by the historians M michael foucault this unacknowledged means these subjects were never mentioned by the historians in their writings and michael foucault began he started he initiated this subject to write in his writings science of medicine then prison administration these subjects were touched these subjects were included by michael foucault in his writings and in this way because of michael foucault many subjects many aspects of human life they were included in the historiography they were included in the history writing this was the contribution great contribution by michael foucault this is the topic about michael foucault because of his concept new concept various subjects were included the history of literature the history of architecture the history of sculpture and many more things were included in history writing because of the contribution of michael foucault so this is all about michael foucault there will be a question about this topic he michael foucault called his method as the archaeology of knowledge this will be the question for give reason so in this question these points must be mentioned and this question give reason will be for two marks then archaeology of knowledge the book written by michael foucault this is for fill in the blanks this is for identify the wrong pair this may be for concept chart also there will be one more question for two marks write short note about michael foucault so in that short note also these three four points are most important to be written so thank you friends if you like this video then please subscribe this channel thank you again